Like many small businesses, the E5 Bakehouse in East London is about to roll out the government's new workplace pension scheme. Eventually, employee and employer together will make contributions totalling at least 8% of the worker's salary. However, if someone who's now 22 only contributes that 8% minimum, they are going to have to work until they are 77 years old in order to retire on two-thirds of their final salary and only six years less to get a pension half the size of their final income. That news came as a bit of a shock to 26-year-old baker Jessica. She hasn't started contributing to a pension. Wow. I never realised 8% of my... Wow. That's a long time. Yeah. She starts saving soon then. <laughs> Today, an expert review concludes saving 15% of salary into an occupational scheme should be everybody's target. Well, if we don't save 15%, then we're going to have to work much longer into our late 60s, into our early 70s. And if we're not prepared to do that either, we have to anticipate living in poverty and old age, which is not a very attractive proposition. Meanwhile, this afternoon, the government refused to rule out a substantial hike in the state pension age. It's led to speculation under 55s may have to wait until their mid-70s before they can start drawing that state benefit. Not a welcome prospect for 44-year-old Gemma Mills. I can imagine we will be those people, certainly, which, you know, when you're my age, you think that's fine, but obviously as you get older, you might not want to work that long. There's a crumb of comfort for Ben McKinnon, though. Putting the spotlight on pensions has made him face up to the future. I'd hate to say it, but maybe being pushed is a kind of good thing as well. It's kind of, you know, a bit of encouragement to do something that, that will probably help us in the long term. The government's review of the state pension age will report next year. But whether you're relying on that or a workplace pension scheme, working longer seems a certainty. Catherine Jones, 5 News.